Okay, this is gonna be the startup walk around instrument light check startup for the 1987 Honda CBR 600 F Hurricane. This was the year that Honda came out with the very first fully fared sport bike. And it's still a great looking bike today. I am the second owner of this and it was purchased about 12, 13 years ago uh, and gone through and ridden a little bit and then put into the museum for the last 12 or 13 years. I'm making room and it's painful to contemplate getting rid of it. But I'll do this walk around and I'd like to point out a couple things. First is when we originally acquired it, you can see in here, we had the exhaust system, the entire exhaust system removed and ceramic coated in a, a satin flat a black ceramic and when it was reinstalled all new donuts and all new uh, exhaust donuts and all new mounting hardware was used as you can see here in the video and the pipe coming out to the end of the exhaust is beautifully done in the ceramic coating so we'll start here with the front fender you can see that there's no scrapes or damage on it the front and rear tires have less than 150 miles on them I might even be less than 100 miles I believe you can see the bodywork it's just in gorgeous condition I would imagine that whoever buys this is going to want to put it into a collection because of its condition. And I don't know how the video will turn out, but if I put my shade of my body over the tank, that is the correct color. But with the camera, it seems like the sun kind of fades it out, washes it out a little bit, but you can see the difference like that. The, the dark red is the correct color. It's just that the sun is really low in the sky this time of year and uh, gives that effect and it's about 40 degrees outside so but just study all the body work on this there's no damage which was the reason I acquired it from the original owner you can see there's just no rust or corrosion or anything on the bike it's just beautiful and we also installed a new inner fender that you see here because we were able to find one new in the box and the guy had trimmed the like last six inches of the tail section of that inner fender off and so we just put a brand new one on before we put it in museum display you got tubeless tires and you'll note it's really rare to see one where the entire tail section is as new with no tabs broken or anything like that. And you can see that back in July of 2007 was the last time I renewed the plates which ran for two years and I finally said the heck with it. There's no reason to keep renewing the plates when it's just sitting in museum display. And you can see the seat. It's great. We have a clear tank protector for belt buckles, zippers, etc. Still has the original gold Honda warnings. And here's the mileage, 15,300. And these instruments are the same color of red, but with the sun shining on them, they might look like they're faded out a little bit, but they are not. You can see the instrument controls. There's no sun fading or sun degradation on any of the controls on the handlebar. Also, Honda in this year gave you air assist forks, which you can run, I believe it's like zero to eight pounds. 
uh, which is kind of cool. I'll come over here, left side. And you can see, when you look down here at the bottom of the belly of the front, right behind the rear tire, there's just nothing to see damage wise and this is all the original paint and original bodywork as it came in 1987 I'm sorry about the Sun if it's causing some reflections but it's just so low in the middle of December that it's always in the corner of your eye no matter where you're at moving around and really pay attention to the fact that there's just no rust or corrosion like you normally see and the decals and labels are still there it's a little dusty from sitting in the museum collection so I will do a start up here so here's the choke, turn the choke on, and then we turn the key on, and hit the starter. I'll turn the choke off, and now you can see the choke is off all the way. So it's idling with the choke off, which means that the pilot jets are all good, there's nothing plugged, and it's totally happy. So here is the low beam, here is the high beam. Light, brake light, horn, okay, left front turn signal, left rear turn signal. Rear turn signal and right front signal. It's really nice. Even in '87, Honda had the uh, turn signal so integrated, and the later bikes they stuck way out. But I'd also point out that what Honda did here is they have dual filament uh, bulbs in the front turn signal so that you have running lights and then the second filament kicks in as a turn signal, kind of like a, the way it would turn on if you had a brake light in there. And so, you got that good visibility and good look going. But again, I hope the red comes out the way it's supposed to, because when I'm looking through the lens here, it looks kind of orangey. But it is the Honda Fighting Red. signal on the left, turn signal on the right, neutral, a high beam, and then if I turn it off, you see the oil light. So all the instrument lights work correctly. So please, you know, thoroughly watch the video and you can see the shadow giving you the correct color in the, in the shadow. Thoroughly watch the video please uh, and then read all my ad text and also um, look at all the pictures. I'll put as many high-def pictures as I can get into the auction uh, for people to see. 
but I forget to put things in the video that I put in the ad text. I forget to put things in the ad text that I got in the video. And so I'd really encourage you to, you know, watch the video a couple times, look at all the pictures, read all the ad text, and then if you have any question at that point, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you.